2017, Celine finally put her home in the market with a $72 million price tag, but she ended up selling it for only $27 million. I suppose the real question is, do you think it's worth that much? Number 8. The San Francisco Eco-Friendly Mansion Now that people are constantly looking for ways to make a positive impact on their environment, it makes sense that a house on our list is not only expensive, but also eco-friendly. We're talking about this $40 million house in San Francisco's Billionaire Row. About 40% of its energy comes from the sun, and it has a rainwater collection system that can hold more than 5,000 gallons of water. Can you just imagine that? This house pretty much works in harmony with nature. With 7 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms, this house had to go through a long process to get where it is. The end result is rewarding after all that time, however. This house is fully automated. Lights, music, temperature, doors, everything can be controlled from a personal device such as a smartphone or a computer. Even the light bulbs will adjust automatically if you were to move the artwork or furniture underneath them. Whether it's day or night, the non-reflective glass windows offer incredible views of San Francisco and its most popular landmarks such as the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz. What better way to spend $40 million than using it towards a house as green as this one? Number 7. 924 Bel Air Mansion If you grew up in the 90s, you might remember Bel Air from the show that made Will Smith famous. Too young for that? Well, here's what you need to know. Bel Air is where rich people live. It's one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Los Angeles. And today, one of the properties on this neighborhood made it to our list. We're talking about the mansion on 924 Bel Air, nicknamed Billionaire. This place stands out among others because of all the entertainment you can find in it. A four-lane bowling lounge, a 4K movie theater for 40 people, a large infinity pool with an outdoor pop-up theater, an auto gallery, and around 100 curated art installations. The amenities are simply insane. It's like somebody came in and brought LA to their house. The house is fully stocked with two champagne and wine cellars and a massive candy wall. Through its windows, you can get a glimpse of the LA skyline. Wouldn't you like to live here? Well, when the house hit the market, it was listed at a US $250 million, which at the time made it the most expensive home in America. However, after multiple price cuts, the property was finally sold at only $94 million in October of 2019. Number 6. Via Las Cedras Next on our list is a mansion down on the coast of St. Jean Cap Ferrat in the south of France. We've actually talked about this home before on a previous list, why not check that out as well? This place is the perfect combination of luxury and history. The mansion has existed since 1830. And since 1850, when it was first bought, Villa Les Cedres has been home to many residents, including King Leopold II from Belgium. Before becoming a proper residence, the property was an olive tree farm, which explains the many 300-year-old olive trees. How many olive trees again? Well, they surround the entire house. There are lots of palm trees and cedar trees as well. After all, Cedres is the word for cedar in French, and I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. Either way, it's expected to find that kind of tree around. The interior of the house preserves a lot of the history from its previous occupants. There's a massive library with a book dating back to the 1600s, which is worth several thousand euros. The house was put on the market back in 2017, and a mystery buyer finally agreed to pay 200 million euros in August of 2019. Number 5. Eden Towers Sky Penthouse now, we know a penthouse is pretty much the expensive version of an apartment, but can a penthouse be expensive and interesting enough to make it to this list? Absolutely! I mean, at $357 million, Monaco's Edon Tower Sky Penthouse promises to be the most expensive penthouse ever. With majestic views of the Mediterranean Sea and endless views of Monaco, this place will make you forget you are inside a five-story penthouse in one of the largest buildings on the Mediterranean coast. Need to release some stress? Just walk out or slide down to this house's circular infinity pool that's connected to the main building through a water slide. If you thought homes inside a vertical building would make things more compact and simple, you might want to think again. Number 4. Antilia in Mumbai, the most expensive in the world. This is Antilia, and it's considered the most expensive house in the world. It took $1 billion to build it, but some people say its current value is closer to $2 billion. What can be so special about this odd-looking building? Well, down in the southern part of Mumbai, Antilia is the home to Mukesh Ambani, the richest man in Asia and one of the richest men in all over the world. This building is only 27 stories high, but don't let those numbers fool you. 
The ceilings on some floors are so double the regular height which makes Antilia as high as a 60-story building. At this home you can find helipads, a parking space for up to 168 cars, a theater that can comfortably host 50 people, terrace gardens, a spa, and even a temple. I get why this building is so expensive. Number 3. Bill Gates House This list wouldn't be complete without Bill Gates on it. You can only expect someone as wealthy as him to be the owner of the most extravagant homes on Earth. This house has more bathrooms than bedrooms. It also took seven years, $63 million, in the hands of 300 construction workers to complete this home. Bill named his house Xanadu 2.0 based on the movie Citizen Kane. Xanadu 2.0 interacts with its surroundings to regulate its temperature efficiently. While most people prefer to display works of art on their walls, the walls of this place are filled with computer screens displaying different paintings and photography. These screens can display your favorite artwork with just a touch of a button. Xanadu 2.0 also has a pool with its own music system, a trampoline room, an Art Deco-style movie theater, and a reception hall where Bill can host a dinner party for around 200 guests. The food can come from one of the six kitchens spread throughout different corners of the house, making it ready to host events at any given moment. And I'd actually like to get an invite from Bill to check this out. I hear he gives out Xboxes as party favors. Now it's time for the day's best pick. I really like this kind of pool with glass walls. These pools are very modern and inviting. When I came across this image, I started to wonder what it would be like to live in a place where I can swim surrounded by the sounds of nature. And then I found a house that really inspired me. Number 2. The Fish House in Singapore Nothing compares with the heat in Southeast Asia, and there is no better way to enjoy it than having a house with an ocean front in the lush landscape of Singapore. Such is the case of the Fish House, a tropical bungalow that was built in 2009 with the goal of creating a living space in close relationship with nature. This was easily accomplished by putting the pool right in the middle of the jungle-like garden, and an endless ocean view. The view is in fact present at the different naturally ventilated spaces of the house. The place is compact yet full of exotic features. There is a media room at the basement level with an acrylic window that constantly reminds us of the house's connection to nature. The window allows natural light into the room as well as views out into the pool. The house has plenty of green spaces for lounging and enough photovoltaic panels to bring enough energy to power up the whole house. I hear some people have a hard time living in nature for too long, but I'm sure they would change their mind if they lived here. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Brunei's Palace On the northern part of the island of Borneo, there is a small nation called Brunei. This little country is home to the largest private residence in the world, the Astana Nurul Iman. This literally translates into the Palace of the Light of Faith. The construction of this massive palace was completed in 1984 at a decent cost of 1.4 billion. If you're wondering how large is the largest place in the world, looking at some numbers might give you an idea. The place has 1,788 rooms, including 257 bathrooms. It also has 5 swimming pools, 44 stairwells, and 18 elevators. You thought Bill Gates' dining hall was big? Well, it doesn't compare to the Brunei's palace. It has a capacity of up to 5,000 people. It also has a mosque that can easily fit 1,500 people, which is not surprising given the fact that Brunei is considered a predominantly Muslim nation. The property has 110 different garages where the Sultan keeps his 7,000 cars, including his Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Aston Martins, and many other vehicles that he owns. Some of them are custom-made, even. If that wasn't enough, there is also an air-conditioned stable for the Sultan's 200 ponies. The Sultan surely knows how to live lavishly. How much is your dream house? How much is your current house? Have any of our current picks inspired you? Let us know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all next time, everybody. Have a good day. The homes of the world's richest CEOs. Let's begin with the world's richest CEO. In fact, just the world's richest, period. Jeff Bezos has been the CEO of Amazon since 1996 and is worth around $160 billion. He's the first person to ever surprise the 12 digit mark in terms of net worth. And with that statistic comes a lot of real estate. According to the Land Report magazine, Bezos is the 25th largest land owner in the United States. 
While the headquarters of his multi-billion dollar, soon to be trillion dollar company resides in Seattle, Bezos owns five homes across the land of opportunity he has so emphatically taken advantage of. Bezos owns the largest house in Washington, D.C. This massive 27,000 square foot mansion was once a textile museum and is now going through a $12 million renovation that is essentially combining two separate mansions. The home is one of the many gorgeous residences in the famed Calorama neighborhood. The difference being this home was built with $23 million in cash. Once the renovation is complete, Bezos will be neighbors with the Obamas and the Kushners. For now, Bezos, along with his wife and four children, live in Seattle. But he also has a home in Medina, Washington, and also underwent a hefty renovation to the tune of $28 million. A Beverly Hills home worth $25 million. Three linked apartments in Century Towers above Central Park in New York City worth around $8 million. And to top it all off, he owns about as much land in Texas as anyone. The second richest person on the planet is no longer a CEO, but his time as founder and CEO at Microsoft has made him one of the most recognizable individuals in the world. His house is no different. Like many of the homes highlighted in this video, Gates' colossal home resides in Medina, Washington. This mansion's cutting-edge technologies make it a worthy property of its tech mogul owner. The lakeside mansion is all of 66,000 square feet. It took Gates seven years and $63 million to construct the masterpiece. In 1988, Bill purchased the lot for $2 million, but since the house's construction, its estimated worth is now around $130 million. Inside the high-tech home are top-of-the-line sensor system technologies to provide guests with room climate, lighting, and complete control of all the house's features and appliances. The home has just eight bedrooms, but can serve as a gathering place for the masses. The mansion has 25 bathrooms, six kitchens, and a dining room that can accommodate up to 200 people. The 60-foot swimming pool is heated and is equipped with an underwater music feature. In case that doesn't satisfy the guests' recreational desires, there's also a massive trampoline room. This amazing home is just one of three of Bill's most notable properties. He also owns a massive ranch in Southern California that he bought from fitness icon Jenny Craig. This home sits on 228 acres and was bought for about $18 million. An easy purchase when you're worth over $90 billion. This lot includes a racetrack, guest house, office, veterinarian suite, orchid, and five barns. Along with the ranch, Gates owns a home in Wellington, Florida that he purchased for $8.7 million. Usually, Gates' daughter Jennifer resides in the home, but it's just another option for the multi-billionaire. The third man on the list has made a name for himself and a whole lot of money by having a knack for getting the most out of his investments. In fact, Warren Buffett is so adept at this process that he earned the title of the Oracle of Omaha. For Buffett, his home is no exception to this skill. In 1958, Buffett purchased his 6,570 square foot Omaha home for just $31,500, and he still lives there today. Now, the property is valued at around $800,000, and in keeping with his reputation of modesty, the home isn't even one of the more expensive homes on the block. A notable distinction considering Buffett is worth just under $90 billion and is third on the list of the most rich. But that's just how the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway rolls. Buffett is currently selling a home in Laguna Beach for $11 million, but don't worry, he didn't break the bank on that either. In 1971, he bought that house for just $150,000. Despite all of his assets, Buffett chooses to live modestly, just miles from his office that mirrors the low profile of his home. The fourth CEO on this list is another technology juggernaut and the fifth richest man in the world. Mark Zuckerberg, co-creator and CEO of Facebook, and his wife Priscilla live in a quaint $7 million home in Palo Alto. This 5,617 square foot property is adorned with wooden floors, a saltwater pool, banquet-sized dining room, blast-in sunroom, five bedrooms, and five bathrooms. The house was built way back in 1903, and at first glance, you might start to think Zuckerberg is taking a Warren Buffett approach to spending his millions, but 
don't worry, this is not the case. The home's luxury shtick is that of Marvel Comics like AI that controls the whole property. Zuckerberg retrofitted the home with a custom-made, artificially intelligent assistant that he even named Jarvis after the likewise character first seen in the Marvel's Iron Man. This cyber butler is a one-of-a-kind technology that took the savvy tech genius years to create. Along with typical billionaire fashion, Mark has also bought $30 million worth of property around his home in Palo Alto, just in case he ever decided not to have any neighbors. Along with his home, he recently bought an off-market property in 2013, which he paid over $10 million. The property, located in Dolores Heights, is spread over an area of 5,542 square feet. He later invested another $1.6 million to renovate the home, to which he added an office, a media room, a half-bathroom, a mudroom, a laundry room, a wine room, and a wet bar. He also added a new roof, along with all new landscaping. But the big-ticket real estate item for the Facebook boss is the two land parcels in Kauai that he spent $100 million for. He plans to set up 700 acres of property for extravagant family getaways. These land parcels have a 2,500-square-foot spread of ocean view and an operational organic farm. The plans are to construct a two-bedroom residence along with a 16-bay garage complex. Another modest billionaire CEO is the late Steve Jobs. In his time as the billionaire technological trailblazer of Apple, he also lived in Palo Alto in a 1930s Tudor-style home. This beautiful home sat on half an acre and was all of 5,768 square feet. It includes seven bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. The home was very much a British country style, fitting beautifully with the rest of this quiet neighborhood and certainly didn't stand out as the lavish residence of a high-tech mogul. Moving to Oprah Winfrey, more known for being the most successful talk show host of all time than being the CEO of Harpo Productions. Oprah enjoys an incredible, lavish lifestyle. In 2001, Winfrey purchased her 23,000-square-foot Montecito home for a smooth $50 million. The massive mansion is located about six miles from downtown Santa Barbara, in 2014, Winfrey purchased this 8,700-square-foot home in Telluride, Colorado, that she paid $14 million for. In 2016, Oprah purchased a 23-acre horse farm estate for nearly $29 million at an auction. Oprah also purchased 163 acres of property, which sits on the slopes of Mount Haleakala. While I don't have any records indicating how much she spent on the estate, an adjacent property went up for sale in 2016 for about $32 million, so it's safe to say, a lot. This 21st century farmhouse has a wraparound porch with ocean views, a country-style chef's kitchen, a terrace off the master bedroom, and dining space for six. For years since becoming one of the first female billionaires, Oprah has been racking up an incredible collection of million-dollar real estate. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, and creator of PayPal as well as many other titles, is no stranger to millions of dollars in real estate himself. Musk has a combined 72 million worth of homes around the Los Angeles area. One of these homes was once owned by Gene Wilder, which Musk purchased for $6.75 million. In 2013, he turned that estate into a private school for his six children. As you would expect from Musk from his innovative work at Tesla and SpaceX, all of his homes are fitted with top-of-the-line or even unseen technology. In 2016, Musk paid $24.25 million to buy a new mansion in Los Angeles' exclusive Bel Air neighborhood. Musk's most recent acquisition is his fifth home in the same neighborhood, and he's currently still building it. Combine that with the $48 million he spent on previous homes, and his total real estate dent in the area is around $72 million. All the homes are close to each other, giving the tech mogul his own massive compound in an already extremely pricey zip code in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains. Larry Ellison, not the CEO but CTO of Oracle, is another familiar billionaire that could not be left out. His home in Woodside, California is modeled after a 16th century Japanese emperor's palace and is promptly worth around $70 million. The 23-acre estate took nine years to design and build, and it was completed in 2004. Clearly a fan of the Japanese culture, Ellison also owns a historic garden villa in Kyoto, Japan. 
which was reportedly listed for $86 million, though the price he actually paid is unknown. Along with the palace and the garden, he also teamed up with Robert De Niro, film producer Mayor Tepere, and Nobu Matsuhisa, the mastermind behind the Nobu sushi chain, to convert the historic Casa Malibu Inn into a high-end Japanese concept hotel that opened in April. Ellison purchased the property for $20 million in 2007, and rooms now start at around $1,100 a night. Along with his passion for Japan and the real estate he's acquired around the world, he also owns around two dozen properties in Malibu worth millions. At least 10 of these properties are on the famed Carbon Beach. Ellison owns much more in Cali, including a racket club he acquired for just under $7 million. Another CEO that I could not ignore is that of Mukesh Ambani. Ambani is the richest man in India and as of now the 19th richest in the world. I have to mention him in this video because he holds the title of owning the most expensive home in existence. But I've already made an entire video on that one. I'll put the link in the description for you.